Hey, what's up, guys? Boxing Guru, and I'm back with another great video. What can I say, man? The fight was a, it was a good fight. You know, Manny Pacquiao's experience definitely played a, played a role. Manny Pacquiao was he won the unanimous decision, although I thought it was closer. I thought Manny Pacquiao won by three or four three or four points. So the first round, I thought Jesse Vargas kind of edged him a little bit, but uh, Manny Pacquiao caught him cold in the second round. Manny Pacquiao won the third round, and Jesse Vargas picked up the pace, and he won, to me, he won the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth round, like, like, hands down, I thought he won those rounds, he was landing more punches, you know, he caught him with the overhand right a couple of times, and seemed to hurt Manny Pacquiao, but Manny Pacquiao, you know, as a veteran, he, he was able to stay in there, you know, it was even to the point where, I think it was around the sixth or the seventh round, even the commentators, top ranked commentators, Stephen A. Smith, I don't like that guy. He was saying a lot of stupid shit during the whole card, to be honest. But anyway, they all were in agreement that Jesse Vargas was up on the score on the scorecards around the sixth and the seventh round. Manny Pacquiao made some adjustments and, and adjustments and started taking over after the, like the eighth round. You know, after the eighth and ninth round, it was clear Manny Pacquiao was like winning a little bit. Manny Pacquiao won almost all of the late rounds. But I gave Jesse Vargas the last round because he was really pushing the action, trying to go for a knockout, trying to land that overhand right and maybe possibly knock him out. But it was it was tough, man. And no shame on Jesse Vargas. He put up a great fight. It was a great performance. Overall, that that's that's a good that's a good fight, man. And I want to see, man, what's gonna happen, man. Where's Maddie Packer gonna go from from here? But to be honest, and knowing how top rank is, and taking in consideration that this fight wasn't a blowout, how people thought it would be. It was close, but you know it was obvious Manny Pacquiao won. It wasn't one-sided, but it, it was it was kind of close. You know, Let, let's be real here, guys. Jesse Vargas did put up a great fight. He did land a couple of overhand rights, and, and he hurt Manny Pacquiao a couple of times. He didn't hurt him as bad as Manny Pacquiao hurt him, but he did stun him a couple of times, and he was quite effective with that overhand right. As I said, he will be. He just didn't land it clean enough and as hard enough. As he did on Saddam Ali. But Manny Pacquiao was aware of that overhand right. And I start I seen I started seeing him dodge a couple of his um overhand rights in the late rounds. Just, you know, he's a seasoned veteran, man. That, that's that's what experience brings to the table, to be honest. Cause you know, he was really getting getting on his groove in the late rounds, like I said. After the ninth round, he was even pot shotting Jesse Vargas, turning him, using his angles. Jesse Vargas looked a little bit slow at times because Jesse Vargas, I mean, Manny Pacquiao would use his angles and Jesse Vargas would take a little bit longer to turn with him, you know. He needs to work more on his foot movement and, and, his, and his agility overall. Manny Pacquiao looked to be, he fought like the younger person, you know. With all that agility, you know, that's God-gifted agility, though. That's how Manny Pacquiao fights, you know, his strong tree trunk calf muscles, you know. Manny Pacquiao, if you look at him from his waist and up, he looks like a 130 pound fighter, but when you look at his whole frame, like his legs and everything, the dude is massive. Like if you just look from his waist down, you'll see his legs and you'll be like, damn, this dude easily weighs like 160, 150. He has massive legs. He has thicker legs than some of the some of the middleweights, you know. I mean, what can I say though? This fight, this card was good. You know, honestly though, I didn't I didn't I didn't buy it. I streamed it because I thought it was gonna be kind of whack. I thought um, Manny Pacquiao, I, I started having second thoughts. I thought Manny Pacquiao was going to blow him out the water because of his experience. You know, I thought Jesse Vargas' only chance was to land that overhand right and knock him out, which was very possible. You know, Manny Pacquiao has been knocked out before, and he's prone to getting knocked out because he's um, he falls for feints a lot. And Jesse Vargas landed it a couple of times, but he didn't land it clean enough to drop him. He didn't land it clean enough to catch him off guard, you know. He didn't set it up as much. Um, the only times he landed was off of another punch. Though, like I think it was, uh, I think it was one of the middle rounds where Manny Pacquiao caught him with a jab. Jesse Vargas, like he stepped back a little bit and threw his overhand right, like a as he was leaning back and it caught him clean, stunned him a little bit. But yeah, I mean, my hats off to Manny Pacquiao. I'd, I'd like to see him fight. I don't know Keith Thurman or Sean Porter. I know he's not gonna fight Keith Thurman, but he should definitely fight Sean Porter. Sean Porter and Manny Pacquiao would be a great fight. 
I think Manny, pa Manny Pacquiao would drop him a couple of times, but I think it'd be a, I think it'd be a closer fight just because of Sean Porter's aggressiveness and his um he has agility too, so it just be it would just be a blockbuster event. Sean Porter has a bigger name than Jesse Vargas. I mean, I felt like this fight kind of flunked. I mean, if you look at the seats, man, some of the seats all the way in the top look kind of empty. They were talking around 15,000 people showed up, which was, to me, kind of flopped, man. And I, I don't know, the pay-per-view numbers might be less than 200,000 because I know I don't know a lot of people who bought it. You know, I didn't buy it. My dad didn't, didn't, wanna, didn't want me to buy it either, so we were just watching it on my iPhone. But, um, I mean, it just kind of sucked that it wasn't on HBO. We had the commentators. Tim Bradley was good. The other guy was good. I don't know who it was. But Stephen A. Smith, man, he really needs to shut the fuck up, man. He's saying the stupidest shit sometimes at the most awkward moments. I think it was, um, I don't know, it was with Manny Pacquiao. He, he, he had Stephen A. Smith. And they were talking about the Manny Pacquiao and Tim Bradley fight, how, how Bradley wasn't as successful in that fight. And he was just pressing the action, and Bradley was like, I wasn't expecting him to to be as calm as he was. I was expecting him to be more aggressive, and he kind of caught me off guard. So, and then um, Stephen A. Smith was like, so why didn't you adapt to that? And then Tim Bradley was like, he just kind of laughed. He was like, man, what's up with this guy over here talking shit, you know? He just was saying the stupidest shit, man. He even said, he even said something about, I don't know if it was, he, 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 it was about Manny Pacquiao and, um, and Prince Nassim Hamed, and and then Stephen A. Smith out of nowhere just came out of nowhere, and he was like, "Yeah, but I don't like putting I don't like putting Manny Pacquiao and and um, Prince Nassim Hamed in the same sentence." What the hell? What kind of shit is that, man? Like this guy's the most disrespectful and awkward person like that's ever commentated in a fight, and he really knows nothing about boxing, man. He's just an ignorant fool, man, and he was ticking me off the whole entire event. I mean, Tim Bradley was just laughing at the guy the whole fight. I mean, I felt like Tim Bradley was just laughing at him. Kind of how you, you're at a party and then there's this crazy white girl just making a fool out of herself. That's how it was. That's how Stephen A. Smith was acting. Bradley was just laughing at his ass. Everything he would say, he wouldn't even have an answer for it. He'd just chuckle at what he said. Because he was just, man, he's just ignorant, man. I really don't want to see another top rank event. You know, I think they should sign with somebody, Showtime. You know, I think that's their only option. I don't think they'll be going back to HBO. I don't think HBO wants them anymore. But they need to get Stephen A. Smith the hell out of there, man. Because he's he's making these fans. He's gonna give all these Manny Pacquiao fans the wrong the wrong idea of boxing. They are they're already lost as it is right now. They're already like don't know what the fuck they're talking about. These Pactars, man. Not Manny Pacquiao fans. Manny Pacquiao fans. I know some Manny Pacquiao fans that are knowledgeable, but it's the Pactars, man. It's the Pactars that really. That really ticked me off, and Stephen A. Smith does not does not help at all with his stupid comments, you know. But yeah, you know, overall, great event. Valdez did a great job, you know. He outclassed the guy. Magdaleno, also a good fighter. I, I just want to see Manny Pacquiao fight the best after this. You know, his training camp, I guess, was 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 good. You know, maybe. Freddie Roach was just saying that shit to throw people off. You know, Freddie Roach is always saying shit just to throw people off. He was even saying Manny Pacquiao looked bad in sparring and shit. Yeah, I'm not going to go off of what Freddie Roach has, says anymore. But, I mean, Manny Pacquiao is just a different type of animal, man. Because it's kind of hard to believe that he's a full-time senator and he's a still man he still manages to to win a championship boxing match. I mean, that's that's kind of impressive. That shows what kind of what kind of fighter he is, what kind of athlete he is to be able to do something like that definitely god gifted you know but yeah i'm looking forward to these fights man hopefully he fights somebody like sean porter keith thurman but like i said most likely man mark my words jesse vargas is gonna get his rematch and manny pack is gonna beat him even worse because he's a veteran he already knows how he fought so he already figured him out after the eighth round so they fight again i think manny pacquiao will knock him out or something but yeah i mean stay tuned I'll be back with more videos. Please take time to subscribe. This is Boxing Guru. I'm out.